In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the step one where you can add the icons, the title and the detailed text. And when I click with the different color combination, it comes the step two, step three and step four. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient field background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw a rounded corner rectangle. This much size. Shape outline. Make it no outline shape. Fill make it white then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle again draw one rectangle maybe this much size you can see here you can reduce it and then i'm going to make it no outline and then i'm going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and then reduce the size you can give some different color and put it exactly on top and maybe this much size i'm going to make it and then I'm going to make one more rectangle again at the top. So select the rectangle again by covering only this much part. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to make it white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some different colors here. So I'm going to select this one shape fill. You can just choose any color of your choice. So let me just choose this color. And here I'm going to choose a gradient fill for that right mouse click, go to the format shape under fill select the gradient fill here i'm going to type radial is linear okay and here i'm only two stops i'm going to make one stop which i'm going to make it some darker color and one stop i'm going to make it which is lighter color and then the direction you can make it like this and if you want you can just move it it looks more you can see here it looks something like this all right so now once this is done i'm going to connect this one so let me just reduce the height of this one and select this three option pull it somewhat down you can see here then go to insert shapes from the lines with the help of this line straight line i'm going to draw it okay or you can hold the shift key also to get the straight line shape outline make it white and increase the weight you can see here maybe two quarters or three maybe three will be better three points all right so this is my first point i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate maybe i'm going to put this much here down ctrl d again here i'm going to make it somewhat up and this will be more down you can see here like this now with the help of this one i'm going to connect this one again from here just make sure it, the line is straight press ctrl d and you can see here and one more okay make sure it's straight line now once this is done you can select the second option you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give a green color here i'm going to give two green colors okay the first one i'm going to give some uh, darker green and then i'm going to give some lighter green you can see here like this you can try different color combination and here maybe you can choose purple and here you can just choose again a uh, light purple and then somewhat dark purple so let me just go to the more color and increase the shade here like this you can make it so any color whichever which you feel that required you can add those color here and once this is done go to insert text here i'm going to type step zero one okay and the font which i'm going to use is open sans semi bold and i'm going to put it here and if you want you can make it the same color what we have used for this one so i can just use the eyedropper and choose the same color press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here all right and again i'm going to choose the darker green color ctrl d here i'm going to choose the purple color and again ctrl d to duplicate and here you can use some 
this color all right so this is my step one so this is step two i'm going to change it three and step four better to change this color also let me just give maybe kind of an orange and here one is orange and other one i can use maybe a yellow you can see here like this and this color also let me just change it to orange color and go to insert you can insert some icons again depending on the requirement you can choose any icons so i'm randomly i'm just choosing some four icons click insert move it aside and make the height and width as maybe 0.6 graphic fill make it white and then start putting one by one on these options you can see here all right so once this is done go to insert text box you can add the title again white font open sans and this time instead of semi bold i'm going to use the uh, extra bold all right and again make sure that it is center aligned press ctrl d to duplicate you can just assign like this one by one or you can assign it while adding the detail text also so add detail text here white font center align and that's it press ctrl d to duplicate yeah okay so this is done and once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all this option and press ctrl g one by one you need to select the option you can see here or you need to select the option hold the shift key and select one by one this will be a time consuming job so instead just with the help of the mouse you can select that one highlight and group it okay and then you can add one more text here your headline i'm going to give some gray color open sans extra bold and then that's it and then you can add some simple animation here i'm going to select these four options with the help of the shift key go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i'm going to say fly in fly in you can make it on click all right mouse click effect option you can increase the bounce and here you can see here it comes something like this and if you like to add some shadow effect also you can add the shadow effect